Hi folks, welcome to the Horde. So, uh, we got the old uh, getting dark out thing going on here. Long day. You know, the old sunset. So, it's about quarter to five. It is 11, 21, 15, 48. That thing says there's not even enough sun on the uh, so it sells to uh, make it want to pretend to be charging. 9.7 degrees C, 33% humidity. Welcome to Saturday. I don't know, could we see Saturday on one of these? I guess we can see Saturday, right? Kind of. Well, I'll pretend you could see Saturday. What have I, what have I been up to today? Um, I bought this plastic shed from a buddy of mine. Um, I gave him 300 bucks for it. His daughter had it and she couldn't keep the house. Um, and this wasn't part of the deal, so she took it down and I got it. You guys could see it was, um, it was quite a bit of work to put up. I had to bring gravel around. There's the old wheelbarrow I used. Um, it was quicker to just, I don't know, I probably put about eight, ten loads, wheelbarrow loads. It was quicker to just wheel it than um, get involved with the backhoe loader, getting it out, and so forth. So obviously, um, this is where I decided to put it. You can see it's back from the um, foundation a little bit. I can actually squeeze in between there to get around the side. It's also handy because it's got a window. So I can see in between my junk. There's the doors. Generally speaking, if you ever get involved with one of these plastic sheds, um, well, first of all, if you're really considering about getting involved with one of these plastic sheds, don't just punch yourself in the face and call it a day. But should you just have to have one, or if somebody offers you one real cheap, so you get a deal on it, um, a few things. First of all, if you put it on a semi-soft footing, it's really, really hard to snap the bottom in. I think you guys could see right there how it's really not snapped in. Um, especially if you're putting it up yourself. When my buddy brought it over, he kind of had several of the wall panels put together. Um, he didn't take it apart into each and every individual panel. If you do that, it would be easier to snap each individual panel into the base um, and then put the screws in and, and put the panels up. That would be a lot easier. He also brought the roof over kind of in one piece and I was never going to get it up there and as a matter of fact as I'm futzing around with it now trying to get it on there it was it would never go on in one piece so I've taken it apart and I've brought it around but I think you guys could see even with that you know I'm fighting it um, fighting to get that last panel in so I might actually have to get a hand somebody might have to kind of push on the shed and the panel and because I don't know if you can notice from the uh, from the sunshine the thing has kind of rippled on the top and that makes it harder to put together when they're used um, generally speaking I don't think this thing would stand up to a winter as it's built um, as it is I I just don't don't think it'll make it um, I think between the wind and the snow and everything else I think it's I think it's going to get into trouble so what I'm going to do is 
I'm going to uh, put a shelf along the back wall up about midway and as a matter of fact it's going to extend down the sides right and go completely around this thing um, not not obviously in the center here in the center I'm not sure which vehicle is going in this um, many different temptations uh, but I think I'm gonna put in put in something that doesn't need to be kept on like a trickle charge or anything something that starts on its own wouldn't be a bad shed for the Baja Warriors um, fire them up and drive them right out right from the door you can see it's a pretty straight shot out it does have a couple of you know skylights so to speak um, I think I think when it's all done particularly when I get uh, the back wall it once again is going to have that shelf that'll be um, up high enough that I, I can bring whatever I'm putting in there the Cushman the um, the TRX 230 wh whatever that I put in there will go under the shelf um, by the way this was supposed to be a 10 by 10 it's actually 7 foot 9 inches by like 9 foot 9 inches it's not 10 by 10 um, good and bad about it the good thing is it fit in this hole a little easier um, the bad thing is there's a few less cubic feet um, though the way this is set up with the um, higher ceiling I could put one shelf you know up here then perhaps a, a second shelf and um, once again that would right sturdy up that wall um, tie it to that wall which will sturdy it up um, I'm not sure about these doors they kind of have I don't know if you can see this here let's get where it's dark where my finger is see there's kind of a hole in there so I'm, I'm not sure if they're gonna work in their current configuration I might have to put hinges on them and that'll be easier to do once again if there's kind of a, a 2 by 4 going completely around the perimeter right and the whole thing is tied together a little better um, yeah I have to think about also if I'm gonna gonna put a helper along the top two or also to kind of help things along I gotta I gotta think about that I mean these things seem pretty sturdy um, but I'll, I'll think about it I mean if I put put something to help this out you know it really wouldn't hurt so maybe maybe that's not a bad idea yeah it's it's gotten pretty dark out you guys could see my um, I have these set of lights over the door. They're already illuminated. Um, yeah, I spent all day at this between um, getting stuff out of the way. I had to move the big red that's only on three wheels. Then I had my Yamaha Horde. There's a pair of what are these DX 225s and there's a uh, what is it a YTM 200 um, it's a shame the this one is the better looking of the three and her problem is something in the valve chain um, so that's her problem the ugly guy I guess that's you this one actually runs the best but it's kind of the ugliest out of the fleet and the YTM 200 
guys probably can't see crap because it's dark out the YTM 200 um, actually has reverse but um, the engine is is pooched it's it smokes it's a it's a bug killer um, it's it's the mosquito fogger I had wanted to um, to get one of these running and get it over to my son's house give it to him as as his first three-wheeler I don't know we'll have to see I mean it's not a bad looking bike the reason why I haven't put a lot of time and effort into it is because um, it doesn't have reverse it's basically the same as the um, ATC 250 SX or even the big red ES but no reverse makes it not really a very practical mach machine makes it a nice sport machine but for a utility machine no reverse it's about worthless here's some of the stu other stuff I dug out um, Honda Walmart right one um, there's another one still in the alleyway between all those buildings I also dug out the snowblower it's a snapper I had this thing running I gotta get it fired up again I'm gonna keep one of the running snowblowers up here yeah, it's like dark um, up here in the garage because I want to be able to clear myself out and give my ability to give myself the ability to move about if you guys remember that big rack of tires the rack is down there and there's the tires all piled up over here I gotta bring in some more gravel kind of backfill up against this I just wanted to get it um, set up it's not complete right there's a bit of a hole in the roof I got to get things lined up and get that center section in but I want to I figured if I we're supposed to get a little rain tonight and I figured if I at least got it this far it would um, it would be better than nothing there you go so you guys can see where it is Having that wraparound shelf, I think, will also be really handy. I'll be able to get some of the other things onto the shelf and out of the garage and cleared up a little bit. So I, I think, I think though this shed is not a 10 by 10. It's only, let's call it an 8 by 10, even though it's not quite that. I, I think because of the shelves I'm going to put up. It, it will come in handy it will it will be useful it'll also be useful given that it's you know literally right out the door I've been thinking about putting paving stones you can't see let's get get it so you can see I've been thinking about putting some paving stones through here kind of create a little flat spot to work we'll have to see okay folks I want to thank you all for watching and commenting and subscribing we got a whole moonlit word today remember to keep your feet down keep your head up and folks please get out there and enjoy all your days make the most of them today sunny 50 Good day to be outside. Absorb some of that vitamin D. Okay, folks. Once again, thanks for watching, commenting, subscribing. Got the old honkers flying by. There you go. Let's hope that's good luck. Okay, folks. Take care now. Bye.